Hello everyone. So in this episode of the menu system that we are working on, this is what we are going to work on today. So here when I change this overall value, you can see as I change the overall option to medium or high, all these other options are also automatically changed. So that's what we are going to work on today. How to make the overall option drive all other options as well. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you will be able to access everything without any limit. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And here is the full playlist of the series. Everything is implemented from scratch and explained. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link to that also in the description. And now let's get back to today's tutorial. All right, so this is what we have implemented so far. So we have audio, but we don't really have anything. But for graphics option, we have this. And the next step is, as I change this, this overall option uh, like this, all other options below as well should change into the corresponding option. So for example, if I set overall to epic, everything else should also become epic. So yeah, so how do we do that? And yeah, let's see. So here, let me open the graphics option panel. This is the graphics option panel. And here in this initialize option, this is where I initialize all the options. That means everything you see here, including overall. And here I am initializing it with this option cycle widget, which is this one. Okay, now first thing is I need a way to differentiate the overall option that you see here and the rest. So let's create a variable with this type which is this uh, option cycle object promote variable now i don't really want to use it here right like this i just did it because i can get automatically get this type now so let's call it overall option then i'll add another one or other other options let's call it for the lack of a better word now here Let's. I need uh, uh, to access this. Make sure this is a straight. Okay, and then let's check if this is with this using the equal now. If let's check if this is overall. Let's add a branch and if yes, I will set this reference that we have here as the overall option. This and if not, I'll add this to other options. Unit, but I have to add unit wouldn't matter here. But I'll add you. I'll use that unique. Okay. Now to be safe here, before I do this clear children, 
I'll clear this as well. Clear this array and set overall option to none to avoid because I call this in pre construct. So it's not here, but I'm calling this initialize option in the parent widgets pre construct. So there is a chance that this will be called multiple times. So I want to avoid having redundant references. So that's why I want to clear it. Okay. Now, um, yeah, now we have this and this initialized. So at the end, that means here, we can get the, yeah, let's get the overall option. And, oh, we don't have a dispatcher yet so i would need a dispatcher that that is called whenever i change the value so here on option changed and as a parameter i'll add an integer selected index I'll call it here well actually I think we already have option for that value is it this Maybe not. Oh, actually it's not here. It's in the rotator itself, but we are not in rotator. So yeah, that's why I don't have the override. But anyway, yeah, that's fine. Um, we can get selected index, call it this way. In the same way I call here as well. Okay, now, now we can bind an event to this dispatcher here. Overall option, bind event to on option changed. This and here let's call create event and i'll say create a machine function and let's call it change overall values and here we already get the selected index so other options let's run up for each loop for all of these other options and set selected index does this work i don't think so because this is only take uh, matters at the beginning so maybe we would need a function here update selection we can get the rotator select done yeah. yeah now let's use this Update selection and pass this. Right. Oh, 
this is not what I should have used. I should pass this. Selected index. Oh, not this one. This one. Oh, let me do it this way so it's more clear what's going on. Okay, now let's test. That is graphics. See? When I change this, it all becomes the same thing. And if I go further, well, when I actually, this shouldn't be something I should be able to set. Custom should be something that should happen when I have two different values, at least in one of the options. So, yeah, but other than that, this is working. Okay, but I leave that problem. We will let into that problem some other day, not today. Okay, now as a quick solution to that, if I just want to not have the custom, let's do this here data, graphics options, and under overall, I'll remove the entry for custom. I'll delete that. So yeah, now it looks same as everything else. Okay, so the next thing is if I press this uh, and here, let me tell, explain again. Now everything is high, but if I change at least one of them to something else, this should turn into custom. Uh, yeah, let's look into that in the next episode. All right, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and updated project files will be available here for download. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another episode. Goodbye.